My friends, I just picked up the strangest delivery that I think I've ever gotten. Oh, I'm so excited to tell you about this. See my friends, back in apparently 2014, 2015, Intel was experimenting with multi-chip module technology to put multiple dies on one single CPU chip. Just kind of like, oh, I don't know, AMD has right now for their Ryzen setup. And what I have here, after going to the local seafood place because UPS misdelivered my order, I have some of those CPUs that were never released to the public and Intel has never talked about. But now I have a set of 10 because that's how they got sold. And we're gonna take a deeper look at these after I tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our holiday merch. I currently don't have the actual holiday merch. It's still on shipment right now for me, but you can pick up our new tech tree designs, both in RGB flavor and typical snow white. So you can check those out at the link in the video description, or you can pick up any of our regular merch, such as what I'm wearing right now, the hot floppy hoodie design as winter's approaching. Get yourself some dope UFD tech merch. I especially love our USB tech tree magnificent. So check that out at the link in the video description. Okay, my friends, it's not only the fact that these are multi-chip modules CPUs that makes these things weird, but there's there's a few other quirks about these CPUs as well that makes them super interesting. First of all, as I mentioned, Intel never talked about these. These are known as the Intel Xeon Soma B3s. That's S O M A dash B Three. They were made in Malaysia. They look to be on an LGA 1156 setup, which puts them in the Haswell Skylake days. They have about the same thickness as Haswell and Skylake. They can be delitted like Haswell and Skylake, but they have no part number that can be identified. They're not engineering samples. They're not qualitative samples. And apparently the boxes that came with this, which I don't have, say that they're S-Spec SR26U, which is an unidentified model number out in the wild. And not only that, the SOMA orientation on the CPU, which, you know, where you read it, is on the wrong side. It's it's 90 degrees rotated in the wrong direction. So there's a lot of intriguing bits about this CPU. And then also there's no SMDs on the back. So it's not an actual functioning chip, but there are a hundred thousand of these out in the wild. And in fact, the eBay seller that I bought this from had 100 of them on sale. And I was fortunate enough to snag one of the packs of 10 that they were selling. And now I have it here in my hands. But with all of that talking, with all of me showing you just the outside of it, I really wanna go ahead and do a breakdown of what this thing looks like under the hood. So let's go ahead and switch over to a different camera. And let me show you exactly what I'm talking about and why this looks so much like Ryzen and a failed Ryzen chip by Intel. So as you can see right here, there's the Soma naming on the CPU. And then this would be the vertical orientation if it actually worked in the motherboard. But as I mentioned, there are no SMDs on the back to actually operate this, which gave people a lot of indication or um, theory crafting to think that these were just heat testing dies to, to kind of, you know, see if it would potentially work. But that doesn't answer why Intel made 100,000 of these and why I could get my hands on 10 of them. So I've actually already delitted one right here, but I actually, I wanna go through the process of delitting this with you guys so that you can actually see what is under the hood of these things. Oh, hey, I forgot. I put one in here for us to delid. So let me go ahead and pull out the delid tool. So as I mentioned, there's a lot about this chip that is very similar to a lot of things that we've already seen by Intel, but other things we haven't seen at all. And what you would expect to find under a chip like this is a single die. In fact, that's kind of been Intel's MO with everything. From everything on Skylake all the way up to their Cascade Lake X 18 core 10D980XE, they're all on single dies. They're not actually running any sort of multi-chip module in order to get their high core count CPUs. But it would indicate, based on this CPU, that they at least at one time experimented with it and just like the 10 nanometer architecture, gave up on it. So there we have it, my friends. What we have here are four chiplets 
on a single CPU substrate with no I.O. die, but based on the size and s the way people have analyzed these on uh, another breakdown video, it would seem to indicate that these probably are two core, four thread dies each, which means what we have here is probably a Ryzen 7 before it ever even existed. Eight cores, 16 threads, not functional at all, but super curious as to why Intel would ever make one of these. And super curious as to why Intel would ever stop making these. So as I mentioned, there's no official information by Intel out there on the internet about these. And that could be due to a whole host of reasons. One, these are fake chips that somebody has painstakingly gone through the process to make it look exactly like an Intel CPU with a multi-chip module just to bamboozle us so that they could get YouTubers like me to make a video on it. Or it's possible that this is such a failed project that Intel never wanted to speak of it after they had failed to actually produce these chips. And, you know, they saw that AMD was actually successful with it. That's, that's speculation. But there is a teardown video that is over on the Chinese website Bilibili. And there is a comment in that teardown video that might shed some light on what exactly is going on with this chip. The comment on the teardown video seems to indicate that there was an irreparable serious bug that showed up 18 months after they started producing it and had to shut down and the batch of processors was directly discarded and related models were rebuilt. The end result was that the large number, number of these series models were suspended. This should be the biggest rollover that Intel encountered before the meltdown inspector vulnerability was dug out. So they don't want to hear any information out of the official channel, which seems to indicate what that is. The teardown video comment also seems to indicate that this was potentially an Atom CPU, but there's also some indication I've seen out there that this was also not an Atom CPU and this was actually normal two cores and four threads coming from the Haswell microarchitecture, but because of how the microarchitecture was set up, they actually couldn't use chips glued together, which ironically is what Intel accused AMD of doing, but maybe that's because they were just a little bitter and they couldn't actually get it right. They could glue them together, but they couldn't actually get them to work. So unfortunately with this video, there's not a whole lot of testing that I can do. I can delid these chips, I can show them to you, I can talk about speculation that's out on the internet, but what I know and what I have is a multi-chip module Intel CPU that was never released, never talked about, and bears a very striking resemblance to Ryzen CPUs minus an IO die, and seems like this could have potentially been a huge failure of Intel's to create a multi-chip module, and if they had potentially perfected it, they might not be lagging behind AMD as they are right now. All of that obviously speculation, but with this chip, and with all of the chips that I have on my table right now, I wonder what could have been if this wasn't such a huge failure. Or maybe this is just a huge gag and these chips don't ever actually exist, which is why they don't have SMDs and why there's so many things peculiar about them and why things are printed on them at a 90 degree angle. But I don't know, what do you think? What do you think of the Intel Xeon Soma B3 CPU? What have you heard about it on the, on the internet? Do you potentially want somebody to do a deeper dive? I obviously can't like look into the cores themselves to see or what or what's on here. I don't have that sort of technology. I still have eight fully intact Soma CPUs, which what should I do with them? Should I uh, make keychains out of them? I've seen other people do that. Do any of you want a Soma CPU? Let me know down in the comments what, what's going on with these Soma CPUs, these failed Ryzen chips, as I like to call them. Ryzen Mark One by Intel. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video for me. Don't forget that today's video is brought to you by our merch. Pick up one of our holiday designs at the link in the video description. Get it for yourself. Enjoy it this holiday season. Represent your tech geekery while you're also celebrating winter. All right, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. Let me know if there are any other peculiar tech items that you've seen on eBay that you potentially want me to check out. Uh, things that are interesting and not necessarily have any history or explanation behind them. I'll try to do as much research as I can, but there's not usually a whole lot of information out there about these kinds of things. 
but I love them. I love them. I'm going to keep this. Krillin's going to protect it, which is probably all Krillin is good for these days. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. So obviously, as I mentioned, there's not a ton of official Damn, Dragon Ball. It's, it's a six star Dragon Ball, which is Krillin's Dragon Ball, which makes sense why it gets pwned all the time.